Just when we believed we had a firm grasp on the universe's origins, the James Webb Space Telescope has thrown us a cosmic curveball. In a surprising twist, the latest revelation from the JWST challenges our understanding of the Big Bang, unraveling mysteries about what transpired before the universe came into being. Join us in today's video as we embark on a fascinating journey through the JWST's groundbreaking discovery, shedding light on the enigmatic events preceding the Big Bang. While you might think you know the story of the Big Bang, recent JWST findings have uncovered secrets about what occurred before it. To grasp these revelations fully, let's take a step back and explore the essence of the Big Bang and its role in shaping our cosmic existence. The prevailing theory posits that the universe originated from a minuscule, dense point of energy that rapidly expanded, setting the stage for the formation of galaxies, stars, and more. Supporting evidence, such as Hubble's law explaining the movement of distant galaxies, has contributed to our understanding. Yet the cosmic microwave background radiation, the abundance of primordial elements, and the evolution of galaxies have provided clues to the early universe's intricacies. Still, the burning question remains. What happened before the Big Bang? This question has intrigued cosmologists for decades, holding the key to unraveling the universe's origins. While the Big Bang theory outlines how the universe began, it falls short in explaining its cause or what preceded it. However, scientists have put forth captivating and plausible explanations to address this conundrum. One such theory is the Big Bounce, suggesting the universe is part of an endless cyclical process. In this scenario, a preceding universe collapsed into a singularity and then rebounded into a new one. Recent interest in this concept stems from the idea that the Big Bounce may result from quantum processes, gravity, or other spatial dimensions. Another intriguing explanation is the ekpyrotic scenario, proposing that our universe emerged from the collision of two brains in a higher dimensional space. This collision induced rapid inflation, smoothing out the universe's initial conditions. The ongoing collisions may give rise to multiple universes, Yet another theory is the pre-Big Bang scenario, suggesting our universe evolved from a state of low energy and high curvature to one of high energy and low curvature. This transition involved a period of superinflation that amplified quantum fluctuations, laying the groundwork for the structures we observe today. Today we explore a captivating concept known as the no-boundary proposal, which suggests that the universe has no limits in space or time. According to this theory, the Big Bang marked a smooth transition when the universe's size became incredibly small. In this perspective, the cosmos began with a quantum fluctuation from nothingness, guided by a wave function that encompassed all potential histories of the universe. The growth and evolution of the universe have long fascinated scientists, and a recent breakthrough from the JWST has unveiled the earliest proto-galaxy cluster ever discovered, just 650 million years after the Big Bang. The universe's formation followed a hierarchical process, starting with a nearly uniform distribution of matter and energy. However, cosmic inflation introduced small perturbations that eventually led to the creation of peaks and valleys in density, as evidenced in the cosmic microwave background radiation. Gravity played a pivotal role in shaping the universe's structure, but its influence was constrained by the speed of light. Over dense regions, Gravity attracted nearby matter, initiating a gradual collapse and the formation of large-scale bound objects. Simultaneously, molecular clouds collapsed on smaller scales, giving rise to the first stars and star clusters. The earliest overdense regions collapsed within just 50 to 100 million years, providing a glimpse into the universe's nascent days. When stars form, they create tumultuous environments filled with radiation and wind, making it challenging to predict their precise structure. Early clumps of mass drew surrounding matter, merging to form the universe's initial massive galaxies. Some of these galaxies have been identified, many of them colossal, rich in heavy elements, and continuously producing new stars. The JWS holds the promise of discovering even earlier galaxies and stars. However, the physics governing the creation of galaxy clusters is more straightforward. Three key factors, the universe's expansion rate, the initial overdensity on the relevant cosmic scale, and the rate of gravitational growth over time, 
primarily determine the formation of these clusters. Unlike the intricate physics within a galaxy, only gravity plays a crucial role in galaxy cluster formation. Before the powerful Joe Wst, astronomers used various methods to unveil the splendor of galaxies throughout cosmic history. One approach involved identifying large groups of galaxies in the same field of view with similar redshifts but differing velocities. Galaxies within a cluster exhibited rapid movements relative to each other, reaching speeds of several thousand kms. This method led to the identification of nearby galaxy clusters, including the renowned Coma and Virgo clusters. Another technique involved detecting galaxy clusters heated by intense processes, such as gas cloud collisions or star formation, emitting X-rays detectable with specialized equipment. X-ray emitting clusters not only aided in identification, but also provided valuable insights into their masses, gas contents, and merger histories. Finally, we unveil the intriguing discovery of galaxy clusters through the collective gravity effects expressed in both strong and weak gravitational lensing. When we look at a huge gathering of galaxies known as a galaxy cluster, we can distinguish it from a group of isolated galaxies by examining the lensing effects created by the mass present between these individual galaxies, known as intra-cluster matter. Take CLJ 1001 plus 0220, for example. It's a nearby, well-developed galaxy cluster containing 17 distinct galaxies. More than half of these galaxies are starburst galaxies, emitting light 2.7 billion years after the Big Bang. Now, galaxy clusters don't start as fully developed entities. They go through a developmental phase known as the protocluster phase. Protoclusters are groups of galaxies that haven't heated up enough to emit X-rays yet. They represent the earliest instances of groups of galaxies in a similar location in space. Using ground-based observatories like Subaru, Kike, and Gemini, scientists have identified two distant protoclusters. One of them includes 44 galaxies at a redshift of 5.7, corresponding to an age of 1.1 billion years after the Big Bang. The other consists of 12 galaxies at a redshift of 6.6, .6, corresponding to an age of 800 million years after the Big Bang. These protoclusters were found to be in the process of becoming gravitationally linked JWST's incredible cosmic vision is expected to surpass this cosmic record by revealing the earliest known cluster from unimaginable times. In the meantime, three surveys conducted by the JWST Jades, Glass, and Sears have provided more insights into the Big Bang. Sears identified four galaxies within a small area of the sky, all at the same distance of 4.9 redshift. This corresponds to a protocluster that existed just 1.2 billion years after the Big Bang. Within the glass field, which includes the magnifying effects of the foreground galaxy cluster AEL 2744, the possibility of even deeper discoveries exists. Seven independent galaxies were detected within the same region by sheer luck, spectroscopically verified to be at the same redshift of 7.8. This represents the earliest known protocluster of galaxies at a time of 650 million years after the Big Bang. The cluster's name, A270044 underscore Z7 underscore P90, reflects its discovery in the lensing field of Abel 2744 and its redshift of 7.9. This work unveils the most distant protocluster of galaxies in the universe to date and emphasizes the significance of detecting and validating all distant galaxy candidates for a single entity. Although some of the discovered galaxies were not linked to the protocluster, some candidates still lack spectra, highlighting the importance of observing them. Researchers quantified the mass and velocity dispersion of the protocluster and made a fascinating discovery. The collective mass of the seven-member galaxies is roughly equivalent to 400 million suns, nearly equivalent to the mass of the present Milky Way, setting a lower limit on the protocluster mass. It should have expanded to at least 5,000 times its original size by now, or grown to the mass of the modern-day Coma Cluster. Get ready to be astonished once again, as the JWST has wowed the scientific community with its latest find, a petite, early galaxy that's surprisingly robust in star formation. This breakthrough might hold the key to unraveling the mysteries of how the cosmic dark ages concluded. Meet RXJ 2129 underscore Z95, a galaxy dating back to roughly 500 million years post-Big Bang. 
observable at a redshift of 9.51. This means we're witnessing it as it existed a mere 510 million years after the universe's birth. Despite its vast distance, the galaxy's faint light got a boost from the gravitational lensing effect of a massive foreground galaxy cluster, RxJ 2129, 6 plus 005. This 150 trillion solar mass cluster magnified and split the light of RxJ 2129 underscore Z95 into three distinct images. The JWST's near-spec instrument verified the galaxy's redshift and uncovered strong emissions from high hydrogen and oxygen gas clouds within RxJ 2129 underscore Z95. Spectroscopic analysis of the galaxy's emission lines unveiled some remarkable features. RxJ 2129 underscore Z95 might be small, but it packs a punch. With a diameter of only 105.6 light years, it's minuscule compared to our sprawling Milky Way, yet matches our galaxy's star formation rate, making it a powerhouse. The JWST is revealing that high star formation rates were common among early galaxies, but RxJ 2129 underscore Z95 stands out. Its radius is at least three times smaller than other galaxies, indicating an enormous amount of star formation squeezed into a tiny space. This supports the idea of hierarchical galaxy formation, where smaller galaxies form first and merge to create larger ones. Interestingly, there's no sign of an active supermassive black hole at the center of RxJ 2129 underscore Z95, which could be crucial in understanding the end of the cosmic dark ages. The lack of a visible black hole suggests that radiation from bright young stars might be the primary force that ended the dark ages. However, measuring the amount of ionizing radiation produced by the galaxy is needed to confirm this theory. If there are more similar galaxies out there, they could play a vital role in the ionizing photon budget. To learn more, additional observations of galaxies at similar redshifts are needed. With the JWST already confirming several very high redshift luminous galaxies, astronomers are sure to have plenty more exciting discoveries in the near future.